When Victor Wembanyama was asked if he's okay with Rudy Gobert winning the Defensive Player of the Year award this year, here's what he had to say. I know that Rudy has a very good chance of winning it this year, and it would be deserved. Let him win it now, because after that, it's no longer his turn. Now, obviously, Wemby was just messing around with the media when he said those words, because we know that these two guys shared a deep history together. And it goes without saying that Wemby respects Gobert more than anything. But if we set aside their friendly rivalry and be serious for a bit here, Wemby is actually giving Gobert a run for his money in the DPOY race this season, and he's got the numbers to back it all up. I mean, here's one crazy stat that will blow your brains out. See, in the month of February, Wemby has tallied more blocks than six other teams in the NBA. And so far this season, he's got 9 games where he had 4 blocks, 12 games where he registered 5 blocks, 4 games with 6 blocks, and 3 games where he recorded 7 block shots. But on top of all of this, here's where things get a little bit more freaky for this alien. I mean, apart from piling up ridiculous amounts of blocks game after game, he has also racked up crazy stat lines to prove a point that he's not just a defensive guy. There's the New York game where he out Jalen Brunson by having himself a 40-20 night, and became the first ever player to do that since Shaq did it way back 30 years ago. Then there's the game against the Raptors, in which he tallied a unique triple-double of 27 points, 14 rebounds, and 10 blocks, while also adding 5 assists and 2 steals on the side. And more recently, Wim became two assists and a block shy from tallying the first quadruple double in three decades, when they battled Jokic and the Nuggets a couple of weeks ago. So, based on his recent performances, Wemby has built a strong case in not only winning the Rookie of the Year award, but also bagging the Defensive Player of the Year award as well, which is a feat that has never been done in the history of the NBA. And in this video, I'll be digging on the ladder, while presenting a solid case on how Wemby can beat Rudy Gobert for the DPOY. Anyway, if we're gonna base the DPOY race from an individual perspective, Wemby really has a clear shot in beating Gobert. Cause if you take a look at this graphic right here, Wemby has already amassed more blocks and steals combined in just half a season compared to Gobert's first ever year of winning the DPOY. Now, if we go deeper on this and compare the tail of the tape, Wemby is also ahead of Gobert by a huge margin in averages, in terms of blocks, steals, and deflections, as well as advanced stats that voters usually consider, like defensive EPM and defensive Raptor ratings because he's playing at a historic level on the defensive end right now. Wemby already has more career blocks than 86.6% of all players that have ever played in the 77 year history of the NBA. I mean, just let that one sink in for a while. Like, if we're gonna use these metrics as the main barometer for the DPOY, then there's no question that Wemby will surely bag the award. But as we all know, basketball is a team sport, and the NBA takes into account the team aspect of each award that they're giving at the end of the season. And as far as team success goes, this is the area where Wemby is going to have a problem. Historically, the NBA hands the DPO Wild Award to the player whose team is on the top 5 defensively that generally has a winning record. While Wemby is basically killing it on an individual level, the Spurs is the third worst team in the NBA right now, and currently ranks 23rd on defense. On the other hand, Gobert tops the league in defensive rating, registering 104 a ball game, and he's doing it while Minnesota is the number one team in the West, clocking a 53-23 win-loss record. To put it simply, Gobert is the best defensive player of the best team in the entire Western Conference. Now, despite the odds being heavily stacked against him, I'm still not convinced that Wemby would just lose the race because the Spurs sucked. Which is why I sifted through all the past winners of the DPOY to see if Wemby has a glimmer of a chance here. So, after going through each one of their names and checking their respective team records, here's what I found out. Out of all the last 41 winners of the DPOY, the nearest player that I could compare to Wemby in terms of chances of winning is coincidentally another former Spurs player in Alvin Robertson. 
when he won the award back in the 85-86 season where the Spurs tallied a 37-47 record in the regular season to finish as the 8th seed in the West. However, here's the catch. The current Spurs team have yet to win 20 games this season, which makes it even more difficult for Wemby to win. I mean, there's still a slight chance for Wemby to bag the award in my opinion, but he has to play at crazy levels in the defensive end to get the attention of the voters. Like, probably average 20 plus rebounds, 10 blocks, and at least 5 steals in their remaining games. If you remember in the 2016-17 season, Russell Westbrook averaged a triple-double to bag the MVP award despite OKC back then finishing only as the 6th seed in the West. So, you see, as long as Wemby keeps playing like an outlier and pads his stats up in the next couple games, the door might slightly open for Wemby to overtake Gobert in the DPOY race. Although I'm not really getting my hopes up that much given how the situation doesn't really tilt in his favor. But see, despite this, some players and experts are starting to believe that Wemby has got a real shot to really win it, like Draymond Green. I changed my stance. Wemby, Wemby probably should be defensive player of the year. Wemby's not a liability on defense. Like, he's not just getting blocks, you know? You can't really pick on Wemby and dude can switch. Like, he's 7'4", can move his feet. Dude is unbelievable. While there are factors that are beyond the control of Wemby, like how badly his teammates perform defensively, it's clear as day that he should be the DPOY, hands down. If we're gonna just base everything on the eye test. I mean, versus the Nuggets where he had 9 blocks, Wemby showed the entire world what kind of a defensive anomaly he is against the two-time league MVP Nikola Jokic. So, here's Jokic operating in his usual sweet spot. He's able to put Wemby on his rear view with a nice spin, and at this point, this is already a sure bucket for the Joker. But because of his 8-foot wingspan, Wemby caught up on him and swatted away his shot like a volleyball spike. Now moments later in the third, the Nuggets tried to sneak one in the break, but Wemby had other plans in mind and chased him down. And finally, Jokic tried to attack Wemby in this crucial possession. Jokic did a great job of muscling his inside to create some space and put Wemby out of balance. But just as he thought that he got a wide open layup, Wemby's length played into the equation yet again and blocked him for the third time. See, unlike Gobert who's basically gonna drop every single time on pick and roll coverages, Wemby is a more versatile defender who can defend in the perimeter and contain smaller players while blocking their jump shots. And even though he's a bit taller than Gobert, Wemby is not your typical tall center who will just raise his hands up and try to bother shots inside the paint without really being active. I mean, when you take a closer look at the tapes, Wemby will try to block every shot that flies across his airspace. And aside from this, he's really hustling and putting the effort on each and every defensive possession that he's involved in. Anyway, whether he wins the DPOY or not, Wemby has already bagged the Rookie of the Year award in my view. I mean, as of this recording, he's already built a comfortable lead against his closest rival Chet Holmgren, as he's been averaging 21.2 points, 10.5 rebounds, 3.7 assists, and 3.5 blocks with just a few games left in the regular season. And just like what he said in the opening quote, it really doesn't matter if Gobert wins another DPOY award this season, cause with the way that he's been dominating on the defensive end, there is absolutely no chance that Gobert would win any DPOY in the future, as long as Wemby is lurking around.